Well, the Yankees are headed back home now to take on the Oakland A's for three over the weekend on reopening day at Yankee Stadium on Friday, expecting full capacity. These are your pitching matchups for the games Friday night, then Saturday and Sunday afternoon games. Friday night begins with former Yankee James Caprillion, who got traded in the Sunny Gray trade against Jamison Tyone. So, Buck, now you're looking to string together after a nice little stop at Buffalo. Good weekend against the A's. Yeah, and it's going to be, a, I think, a real electric atmosphere. It's like a lot of things we're seeing around the country, but uh, it's a pass baton time, Jack. It's, uh, okay, we've held surf. We've won in different ways from different people and different pieces. Your turn. They had a productive series in Buffalo, but I do think that the scrutiny and the focus now turns to Jamison Tyone. He's had five long days to think about his last start against the Phillies. He lasted one-third of an inning. He threw 34 pitches. Of those uh, pitches, six were put in play, five hits and a sacrifice fly. Fourteen were fouled off. So he wasn't fooling anybody that day. David Cohen always says, a starting pitcher, your week can be ruined in five minutes. That's about what happened for Tyone. So as the Yankees are getting this traction and moving in a positive direction, they need Tyone to kind of be one of the guys who guides them on Friday in that electric atmosphere, which should be electric for him mm -hmm. because it'll be the first time he's pitching in front of that kind of crowd at the stadium. It's kind of like we talked about. You look at Toronto as an opportunity to right the ship. And you know, Tyon should be looking at here's an opportunity with a, with a big uh, setting that's going to be a little different than what we've had, obviously. I can make my mark and I can go forward. Yeah, you don't want to ruin what you've built right there, right? Gaining traction, guys. That's what they want to do after what they did in Buffalo. 